What's up Iron Man fans? Today we continue to build a real Tony Stark exosuit. In this video you will learn how to design and manufacture an exosuit which really gives super power with your own hands. More details about DIY hydrogen muscles, how to power it using electrolyzer without a compressor, how to control an exoskeleton using EMG sensors, new Iron Man exoskeleton parts, new hinges and a couple of nights with me. Stay tuned, it will be a hot part. <sighs> Let's go! Let's start with the most exciting part. Does anyone know where Iron Man exoskeleton got this superpower from? I know! From the arc reactor! Of course from the arc reactor. I mean, how exactly exoskeleton was set in motion, increased the strength of Tony Stark, lifted cars and helped to bring democracy in unstable regions? I have rewatched all the parts of Iron Man and Avengers, Again, uh, with all exosuit movements, there are clear sounds of servos, and that is about electric motors. But uh, in some senses, when the armor is damaged, oil speeds out, that is, of uh, the type of hydraulics. Anyway, it's not clear from the movie what exact mechanism in the suit is responsible for exosuit movements. Maybe because this is just a fantastic movie and not a DIY guide, in any case, Exactly half a year ago I solved the issue with the exoskeleton activities and actually made a technological breakthrough that you reacted to as usual. Whoa, cool. But can you make a Spider-Man shooter? So I think this invention is tremendously underestimated and I propose to return to it. Let's come back to the past half a year ago. I just made a time and space machine. Uh, the settings sometimes fail a little bit, uh, but I think we can try. October 2020. <coughs> God heavens, that's not 2020, that's 2012, that's too far, I could hardly split the water that time. October 2020. What the... What the... Hacksmith? Wow, I'm in future! Hey James, hey Bogdan, what is it? Ah, you're charging, right? <laughs> James, is it... Is it nuclear reactor here? Wow. I'll come back in a couple of years, so hold this place for me, okay? I'll come back. <laughs> Bye, Bogdan. October 2020. October 2020. The whole world plays at home freelancers and I'm in a cold garage working on the Iron Man power system. What is the main problem with any exoskeleton? That's right, they all need a compact and lightweight power source to run their drives. In my exoskeleton I use DIY pneumatic muscles that are extremely light and they contract due to hydrogen and oxygen which are supplied under pressure through control valves and then used as a fuel. Free excessive pressure that activates muscles is a byproduct of electrolysis. The electrolyzer doesn't expend additional energy to create this pressure, as for example in all existing pneumatic muscle circuits with huge air compressors. Domestic hydrogen experts and those who have at least once tried to do all this themselves will say that, in fact, we are lightly pumping combustible gas into the muscles around our body. But safety problem can also be solved with the help of diaphragm and system of communicating vessels. Then the working body in the muscles will be ordinary compressed air. In fact, I solved the energy problem of exosuit half a year ago. And you write to me, make a Spider-Man web shooter? Ok, it was worth going back in time, we return to our days. April 2021, Hawaii. Oh, didn't work. Anyway, the last time I installed the muscles on the shoulder exoskeleton, everything worked, but the movement was limited by the elbow joint. Maybe because it was originally a furniture hinge from the, my kitchen set, or maybe because even when the exact fit of the size of the exoskeleton, a hinge with only one axis of rotation will not be as comfortable as a hinge with two axes of rotation. We have to talk about sharing his crucifixion, not just sharing his blessings. And we want to look at a couple of instances in the Bible where people were really, really, really being blessed and had such tremendous opportunities, and they just went totally haywire. I don't know if you know that sometimes you can get a severe case of the stupid.
If an Iron Man flying suit still looks like the gadget of the near future, then personal flying transport is definitely the present. In fact, the main question is always about the energy density of the power unit. And even today, lithium ion batteries and hydrogen fuel cells are able to make a dream of a flying car real. Human flight and the future of energy are two issues that keep me awake at night. I learn about all these things on Curiosity Stream. This website has thousands of streamable documentaries and non-fiction TV shows on topics like history, science, engineering, travel and nature. Using my link in the description and my promo code AlexLab, you will get access for a whole year just for 15 bucks. Join our Explorers team to watch awesome documentaries anytime, anywhere. Even from the phone, even offline. Even replacing the hinge from one axis to two axis uh, on only one side, movement has become much more convenient and free. But here it is important to understand a very simple pattern. The more degrees of freedom a joint or hinge has, the less stability it has. If you run over the key human joints and the main hinges of the exoskeleton, then greater mobility is needed for neck, shoulder joints, wrists, hip joints and ankle. More stability is needed for the elbow, lumbar spine and knees. The point is we need different hinge designs according to its mission. In short, freedom is always contrary to stability. Freedom, stability. I live in Russia, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. A single axis hinge is suitable for the knee joint. Elbow joint will have two axial hinge or combined types. And with the shoulder joint, which generally lives its own life, we have to get confused and make a rotating base like a large bearing, only instead of a shaft there will be a hand. And the inner rotating ring can be used as a faceplate for multi-axis hinges. If you want to learn more about physiology and biomechanics, read a book of my mentor Frédéric de Lavier, Strength, Training, Anatomy. That's definitely one of my favorite books uh, with most awesome handmade illustrations ever. And to make the exosuit clearer on your body, get into the right size and not mess with the biomechanics, we are starting the DIY exosuit video guide for dummies. Oh, I'm not dummy, I'm a real boy! So, to make an exosuit on a figure, first it would be better to make a cardboard layout, check if it sits comfortable on a figure. Then disassemble the layout and transfer the finished dimensions to the metal parts. It is better to assemble the first model from aluminum, because it is quite cheap, easy to handle, cut and bend. From the beginning.
After the rigid aluminum frame with the hinges is ready, smaller parts can be customized like protective plates, opening flaps for easy donning or replace individual parts with parts made of more durable materials such as steel and titanium. When the framework is ready, we start bodybuilding and adding artificial muscles. Here is the structure of this muscle. The contractile fibers are long balloons of which are clowns, which I'm still afraid of twist the dogs and then burst them in front of a face. Muscular fascia, that is the cover on which the contractile fibers are pressed from the inside, are made of cable braids. The tendons that attach the muscles to the exoskeleton are made from screws. And the ligaments, if needed, can be made from the springs. It seems to me we are approaching the most sacred question. We have our natural body muscles and now we also have an exosuit with artificial muscles. How to connect a human body and machine? What is the secret of successful fusion of flesh and metal? The secret is that all living creatures and machines have the same nature of the vital force. Electricity for contraction of any muscle and electrical signal passes through it. This is exactly the same electricity as in electric socket, with the only difference that the current is very weak, not measured in amperes, but in microamperes. Just imagine, the same force is responsible for lightning in the sky, contraction of the muscles, and driving all artificial motors. Isn't it great? Everything in the universe is one. We are connected. No more wars are needed, people! Every electrical signal can be detected by convenient sensors. So today, every DIY maker can capture it, uh, even the weakest muscle signals using Miafestel EMG sensors. Amplify the signals and give a strong control signal to the solenoid valve that admit a hydrogen and oxygen into artificial muscle and make them contract. This is the way we command our exosuit and limb muscles, increasing your strength as it was supposed in the Iron Man movie. Sometimes, however, the sensors are dull and the limb doesn't want to obey, and we need to calibrate it properly. However, each set of sensors, even without the necessary strapping, costs crazy money in our city. Thanks to channel sponsors who helped me to ship the sensors from the United States, but someone 
parked in the Suez Canal very strange way, so my sensors are still in Suez Canal, in traffic jam, I fear. It's good when uh, there are some local friends who can share pieces of iron. Uh, guys all over the world, I deeply appreciate your help, really. At the same time, I make the full carbon, kidding, full metal Iron Man helmet, repulsor flight system and autonomous hydrogen reactor to power this stuff. Especially for you, I have collected all the videos about building an Iron Man suit in one playlist. Uh, watch, rewatch, and be inspired by the aesthetic of the night workshop. Also, I prepared to send my message to space, and we are working on this project with my friend Andre. Subscribe to his channel uh, Cosmos Elementary. He talks about astrophysics and cosmology, and he doesn't just give you one fact after another, he often goes deeper and tries to explain how do we know something that at first glance seems impossible to know. Click the like and share this video, join Alex Lab channel membership here or on the Patreon to get the blueprints and DIY guides for my gadgets. It really helps me to go on crafting and helps you to start developing your own machines. Also choose the topics of the next video on the Alex Lab community tab because I love to shoot what you want to watch because remember we are Alex Lab team and uh, can trust only for each other and truly great things awaiting us. Wabula -bu -dab -dab. Whoa. Hey James, what is the protocol for Bogdan charging? Is it like lithium batteries or full night charging? Oh, come on, everybody knows he's a bio robot since 2020. I'll come back in a couple of years. Uh, hold this place for me, okay? I'll come back in past, in, in future. In past, future, continuous. Pre uh, past, perfect, present, perfect. Future, continuous. October 2020.